Welcome to Gallery and Music. Suzanne Valadone, born Marie Clementine Valadone, 1865 to 1938, was a French painter and a prominent figure in the art world of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. She was one of the few women artists to gain recognition and success during a time when the art world was largely dominated by men. Valadone's unique style and subject matter, often focusing on the female form, intimate scenes, and portraits, set her apart from her contemporaries. In the 1880s, Valadone moved to Montmartre, a bohemian neighborhood in Paris known for its vibrant artistic community. She became a model for various artists, including Pierre-Auguste Renoir, Edward Vuillard, and Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec. These experiences exposed her to different artistic styles and techniques, laying the foundation for her own artistic development. Valadone's artistic talent soon emerged, and she transitioned from being a model to becoming a painter herself. She gained recognition for her bold and expressive style, characterized by strong brushwork and a rich color palette. Her subjects often included portraits, self-portraits, nudes, and scenes from everyday life. Valadone's paintings captured the essence of her subjects, particularly women, with sensitivity and authenticity. She challenged societal norms of representation, portraying women in unidealized and unapologetic ways. Valadone's approach to the female form emphasized the humanity and individuality of her subjects, breaking away from the traditional male gaze prevalent in art at the time. Despite facing discrimination as a woman in the art world, Valadone's talent and determination led to success and recognition. She exhibited at the prestigious Société Nationale des Beaux-Arts and the Salon d'Automne, among other notable venues. Her work garnered praise from both critics and collectors, securing her a place among the prominent artists of her time. Throughout her career, Valadone continued to explore and evolve as an artist. Her style shifted from the bold, expressive brushwork of her early works to a more subdued and introspective approach later in life. She remained committed to her artistic vision and continued painting until her death in 1938. Adam and Eve, 1910. Valadone's interpretation of the biblical couple depicts Adam and Eve in a tender embrace. The artist's emphasis on their physical connection and the emotional intensity between the two figures adds a unique perspective to the familiar story. The Joy of Life, 1911. Inspired by Henri Matisse's painting of the same name, Valadone's version presents a scene filled with lively figures enjoying the pleasures of life. The vibrant colors and energetic brush strokes convey a sense of exuberance and celebration. Portrait of Eric Satie, 1893. Valadone painted this portrait of the avant-garde composer Eric Satie, a close friend and frequent subject. The painting captures Satie's enigmatic persona, with his piercing gaze and unconventional attire. The Blue Room, 1903. This striking painting showcases a nude woman reclining on a bed in a blue-drenched room. Valadone's use of vibrant colors and the sensuous pose of the figure exude a sense of both vulnerability and empowerment. <laughs> 